Hello, glad to be back with you again with a video. Hey, man, thank God for another day. Even though we know troubles is going on everywhere around the world, but we thank God anyway. Praise God. Hey, man, he let us live to see another day. It's for a reason, praise the Lord. Just, just happy about it. And, and I'm going to say a short word of prayer that God continue to cover us and keep his, us under his blood and protect us from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we thank you how you have Kept us so far from things that could have took us down and you didn't lie to take us down, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. And we thank you for it, Lord. Those that wasn't able to make it through the night, Lord, we pray you have mercy upon them and keep them from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. And hope, Lord, those that have night shift, day shift, all around shift working and trying to make a living for their family. Lord, pray you have mercy on them and help them to get through it, Lord Jesus. Help them, Lord, to get around it and over it. Lord, you don't let it take them down and don't let it take them out, Lord Jesus, because something we have to do to survive in this world. But we know we, if we know you, we know we can lean on you and depend on you to help us. And we can pray and you will help us to get through these things where we see it's just not going to make it. That's to feel like something's going to happen. And you're not going to reach where you want to reach your goal in life. And you're not going to be able to do the things that you know is right to do. Praise the Lord, and then you want to always pray and ask God to help you to do the right thing because Satan got his offer to pray you to do wrong things to make things better. But in the end, he's going to even be worse than what the beginning was if you listen to the enemy, to Satan. He will tell you wrong things to do to try to survive what you got to get and what you got to have. Praise the Lord. But if you don't know God, turn to God. Call for God to help you to get through these things. And you will be able to enjoy your blessing that you have received for your labor, that what you had labor for, with your hands, what you have done with your mind or helped the country or whatever situation it might be. Stay in the right standards with God, and he will help you through and see you through it all. And I pray God continue to bless and watch over the children from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. Peoples everywhere and those that didn't wake up this morning, I pray God they have made their peace with the Lord, and their soul is as happy in heaven, praying for us around the throne of God, that we that know the Lord will stay with God, and them that don't know the Lord, praying that they will come to know God before the end of this world. Praise God. Amen. Be happy. Do what you have to do. You can't stop the troubles in the world, but you can help yourself to be happy in this world with God's help. Praise God. And those that are praying for people that don't know God, God is blessing people, your family, or nobody you know, or your surrounding, your neighborhood, or your government, or your state or city, or whatever is going on. You prayers, prayers to God to help us. Praise the Lord. These things just survive until we are out of this world. But we got to be happy. Can't be looming, grooming, and Think about the world coming to an end. You got to ask God to help you to enjoy what you have and help you to get through because nothing's going to stop it. So no need to be sad and falling out and fainting because it ain't going to stop what's going to happen. But just enjoy what God gives you. Amen. And be happy for it. And, and if you've got a goal that you're reaching, God help you to continue to reach it. Keep going. It's college, school, whatever you need. Keep going. Don't say, oh, I ain't going to do it. The world ain't going to be here long anyway. Do it anyway. We don't know how long we're going to be here, but you don't sit in the in, in a cone and wait. You do what you have to do and keep on going on with the help of God. Those that know the Lord know that God will help us to do it. Be happy through the sunshine and the rain. Praise God. Because we pray and leave it in the hands of God. And we pray for everybody, ourselves, our whole world, our families. We know and don't know. Because God, all of us belongs to God. So I pray God continue to bless each and every one. And a special way, amen, and help you go through whatever you have to go through. Give you peace and joy. Help you to enjoy your life. Praise God, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be at Psalms 86, Psalms 86, praise the Lord. Starting at, it's going to be uh, Psalms 86, and we, I'm going to start at the, um, Six to the seventh verse. It's going to give you two verses today, praise the Lord, to help you. Because we have so much going on in the world. We got so much going on in our life. And we got to know how to pray to God for help. Praise the Lord. And we that know the Lord and know how to pray, we have to pray for them that don't know God and don't know how to pray to God for help. Praise the Lord. Amen. Try to do things their own way. And sometimes we get in trouble trying to do it our own way because it wasn't been, it hadn't been done the right way. But the Lord, we're going to be like, praise God, we're going to be like David. We want to pray to God to help us and strengthen us in whatever situation that we're going through. We might be going through a domestic 
problem. We might be going through a finance problem. We might be going through a physical problem where we're sick in our mind and our body. Praise the Lord. We might be going through family problems. Uh, but it's all kinds of things could be happening. In our country, we could have mudslides and hurricanes and, 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 and windstorms and all kinds of things could be going on around in our state where we live at, praise God. And we need to pray and ask God to help us. But we, we don't know how to pray. We think we can solve it or we're causing all oh, the weather. You can't control the weather, praise the Lord. This world is, is going to have cold and summer and hot and this is where it's going to be, and it's going to, global warning is getting worse. Even the scientists will tell you that, praise God. But we can't stop it. You're just going to have to ask God to help you to get through it and over it and live anyway and be happy, and God will help you to do that. We know what's going on, but I thank God my heart's not sad. I, I, I'm not gloom and gloom and thinking about what's going to happen because I can't stop it. So why is I'm going to put myself through that kind of uh, trouble and drama and terrify myself when I can't do anything about it. Put it in the hands of God and do what you have to do that is right and please it in the sights of God. And you, you, those that don't know God and don't know how to do the right thing, only the wrong way, God see it. He have mercy on you. He know you don't know no better. And he know that he can deliver you so you can do what you're supposed to do, praise God. Because once you're exposed to the truth, whether you do it or not, you still know he was told to you the right way, not the wrong way. Praise the Lord. It'll get you in trouble every time, every time. And it gets you in real, real bad trouble. So you want to do things the right way. But we don't know how to do that if we don't have our faith in God and we have not accepted him as our personal Savior. We don't know how to do that. We think we still can't afford to do things ourselves, maybe our education, our money, our looks or whatever. That's not the way to solve our problem. We need to solve our problem through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we've got to believe in him. Praise the Lord. But he had mercy on us. He had mercy on me for I got to know him. And he's going to have mercy on you and still have mercy on you. And if you have don't even know him yet, I'm talking about God. And one day, maybe you'll get God in your heart and come to be a believer in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we as the servant of God have to plant the seed. We have to plant the seed. We have to tell you what does say the Lord, whether you obey it or not. God say the blood will be on our hand if we don't tell you the truth. We are the mouthpiece for Jesus. He don't need us, but he uses us, praise the Lord. And if we love you like we say we do, we're going to warn you and tell you whether you accept it or not. We're going to love you. We're going to pray for you. And we not and, we, and, and praise God's secret prayer. You never know what a person is praying for another person and might not even tell you they are praying for you, but they are because some people get upset when you pray for them. And that's a good thing. I'm, I, I'm glad to know somebody was praying for me when I was a son and didn't know God. And I thank God for those that are praying for me now that I know the Lord. Praise the Lord. The prayer is good. Prayer is the answer to your problem. Because God is real. God is real. He's not something you're made up or you dream about. He's real. He's in control of this world. And he tells us in the word of God what's happening, what's going on. Praise the Lord. But he said, I'll be with you through the, uh, through the ups and the down and the storm and the rain. Just trust me and keep the faith and you'll be okay one way or another. Praise the Lord. We'll be taken out of this world or we'll get power from God to go through whatever we have to go through in the world. And the sixth verse tells us, because David, he, he, like I said, he was, he was going through troubles. So he needed strength. He needed, he needed help from God. He needed God to help him and get him out of the trouble that he was going through, which we all go through trouble one way or another. It might be different than David, what he went through, but we all just got something that we face in life that we need to be delivered from it, and we don't know our left or my right. We don't know what to do. But thank God David know to go to God with his prayer. He know that God will help him, and this is what I'm saying to you today as well as myself. You Whatever come in your life, Go to God in prayer, praise the Lord. If you don't know how to pray, praise the Lord. God will have mercy upon you, praise God. Hey, man, he had mercy on me before I knew. And I look back on my life and I see how good God was to me and I didn't even know him, praise the Lord. He's doing the same thing for you right now. He care about you. And, and, and Jesus is praying for you, praise God. And we got to do that as Christians, as believers in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to tell you what does said the Lord and pray for you too, praise God. Everybody, our families, unsafe families, those that know God. All us ain't nobody up above, no one or no other. Praise the Lord. We all same and equal in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. And we that know do, do, do what God requires of us to do and how we're going to have to live and get into his new heaven and new earth, he behooves us. He be one us. I should say that we should tell. If you don't listen and don't want to hear it, 
then that's between you and God. But it's our duty, duty at least try to reach you before it's too late. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the sixth verse tells us, Give air, O Lord, unto my prayers, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my troubles, I will call upon thee, for thou will answer me. God said he will answer you. And we that pray for those that know God and those that don't know God, knowing that God will answer us. He promised that he would answer us. And we know there's none like God. No, no, no works. No, nothing is like God. He's over everything. Praise the Lord. He said, well, why is everything that's going on? Well, he's telling you this world, but because of Adam and Eve, not listen to God. It's to say in the world is sinful. We come in the world sinning and the world is us, the earth, the elements do their thing. But we as human beings, being in the body of flesh and not born again, don't have the Holy Spirit. We we weak it. We we mean we evil. We 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 you you can get on 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 a, um on video on on television or uh have videos or whatever. People attack you for no reasons at all. They they don't just don't like you and, and don't want to let you know they don't like you. And they want everybody that you, they don't like for them they don't like you either. Praise the Lord. It's sad and it's pitiful, but we have to continue to do what does say the Lord because people don't own us. God owns us. Your life belongs to the Lord, but sometimes it can be domestic problem. It can be family problem. It could be money problem. It could be sick problem. It could be uh, our government problem, which we do have. Praise the Lord. Amen. It could be all kinds of problems we can be, ha be having going on in our life. But it says, as David said, and I'm telling you, as I tell myself, what David prayed, that God would help him to hear his prayers and intend to uh, his prayers and, and, and attend to uh, of his voice of his supplication. He was telling God what's going on. He's telling the Lord how he felt. God already knew it, but that's what God wants us to do, to come to him and pray and tell him and realize we can't do it. We can't solve it. We need God to solve it for us or else he don't give us power over so we can go on and be happy caring and um sometimes you have things you you can't get rid of you have to you leave this world because we into a corrupted body and uh we can't get rid of arthritis will hit you here this is gonna hit you here operation will hit you here or there Praise God. But God give you power that you keep on keeping on. Praise the Lord. You got medication for it, taking in the name of Jesus. And pray God you don't have a side effect and keep on keeping on. And ask God to lift your head up. Don't be trying. You, 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 you make it worse when we don't lean on God and ask him to deliver us, make us happy. Because being being down and and out and just giving up, it, it ain't gonna solve our problems. It's only making it worse. And that makes Satan happy to see us uh uh, uh, so pitiful and, and and you don't know what to do and crying and broke down and gloom and 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 and, and just don't know what happiness is because you're going through a problem praise god but god is able take it to god in prayer like david did and i take my my problems and troubles and my trials and tribulations to the lord too i, I give i have problems but i give them to god praise the lord and after i got I, Tell the Lord, I can't take it. I can't. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. But with you, Amen. You can take them off of me and bless me and rest the cure me and give me some peace and happy even in this terrible world. Praise the Lord. That's going on. Not your fault. It's not your fault. But that it's our fault when we don't accept Jesus and ask Him for help. And turn to him for help. Stop turning to the things that make things better, that make things, I should say, worse for us, not better for us. Praise the Lord. So pray the prayer like David prayed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give ear, O Lord. 80, Psalms 86. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayers. Attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou will answer me. We that say know who to call upon. And we're telling you, you don't know God, call on God for help. Call on God to save you. Call on God to help you with whatever you're going through. There's so much things that children and people are going on in this world. We couldn't even name it all. It's so bad, praise the Lord. Amen. But God will help us and he will de deliver us, praise God. And he, God, what we're praying for people that don't know God, God will have mercy on them and help them. He's going to help them. He helped us out of our problems through other people that knew him, that prayed for us. And so we now, we are among those people, and we are praying for everybody uh, like somebody had prayed for us. So I pray God bless you to have a good day, a blessed day. And, and if whatever happened, that he'll be there for you, help you to go through it, whatever it is. There's things that you we, you, we can't even announce, even pronounce that people are going through. It's so bad. 
but uh, God is able. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Nothing too powerful that God can't handle. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we're going to keep each other in prayer, saving unsaved people. We're going to keep you in prayer. Our families, our, our job, people we work on, our job, and all these traveling merchants and, and traveling in the planes and airplanes and all that. We need God to watch those and help us, give us, give us, give us strength to get through it all. Praise the Lord. And ask God to help us. Don't have these things that go in this world. Have us that we can't be happy in our body, mind, and soul. Because these things, being not happy, will not stop what's going to happen. But through Jesus Christ, he gives you strength to go through it and enjoy the life that you do have left in this earth. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So remember, uh, Psalms 86, 6 and 7, get you in tune with God for whatever you're going through to deliver you, give you power over it, and help you to be happy even in this world. You can't be happy, happy, but at least have peace where you won't be all bound up and and you, and you 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 don't want to look at TV. You don't want to you don't want to do nothing but just stay in your bed. Don't want to get up. Don't want to take a shower. Don't want to do nothing. Don't want to go on your job. Mad with everybody. Don't like nobody. Everybody wrong with you. That's not going to solve the problem. It's only making it worse for us. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All these blessings and thanks. I'm praying that God will help us all because all of us need need it in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, pray God bless you and help you to get through it all. And same as me, myself, to get through what's going on and keep being, keep being happy in the spirit of God. All the blessed things I ask and pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Praise God. Keep on, keep it on. Trust in, in God if you know the Lord. And if you don't know God, uh, seek him. Romans, praise God, Romans, the 10th chapter, 9 to 10 will help you through.